What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo. So uh, this is a very important episode and uh, I think the, the future of our zoo is dependent on everything that we do here. So you guys can see we only have $3,500, $3,600 in the bank right now and uh, we, we, have been, we have been in the red for quite some time now. We've been losing a lot of money. And uh, I, I, it kind of, you know, it, it goes back and forth that teeter-totters occasionally will make a little bit of profit and then it'll bounce over to the negative. And uh, I, we, we need to add another animal, but we don't really have the money to add another animal. So I think what we're going to have to do is I think we're going to have to take a loan. We're going to have to go out on a limb and we're going to have to see what we can do. Now, on top of that, another thing I was looking at is down here with our warthogs. If we take a look at these guys, so the, the female, you guys know, is on the contraceptives. So one of the, the things you want to do in these zoos is obviously make money and expand and get more animals and stuff like that. But you also want to breed them and release animals into the wild. That's how you get the conservation credits, the little like leaf coins, and you can get even better stuff with those. So uh, the thing is, if we take a look at the, uh, the stud book here, the female is pretty far along in her lifespan in terms of being able to breed. And so is, uh, so is the male here. Like they are about to hit elderly. So, I mean, we, we kind of... We need to take advantage of them while we can. I mean, like it, it says, you know, it's got a couple years left, but honestly, the, the time moves very quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and take her off the contraceptives. And uh, I guess we're going to take a look at some loans. Dude, I can't, I can't believe we need a loan. So we can get a loan of $20,000 at 5% interest, $5,000 at 10% interest, or $75,000 at 5% interest, two to seven year duration, three to four year duration. I'm gonna say, let's take the, the $20,000, dude. This this is, I'm, I'm, I'm kinda, all right, here we go. We're, we're, we're gonna be okay. We're, we're gonna take the $20,000 loan and I think we're gonna have to move into our uh, into our next exhibit. We just we really need to get something in here that draws the crowds and makes people really really happy. So let's see what we have available. I'm gonna go to our animal trading here, and um, dude, I really I don't even let's let's make sure we have only cash listings shown, and I'm gonna sort it by appeal, descending, and hopefully, I mean we could get a couple hippopotamuses, we could get these mandrills. We could get some bears. Looks like the Galapagos turtles actually bring quite a bit of uh, of interest. So do the the timber wolves there. Could get zebras and stuff like that. I I think we need. I mean, I'm gonna get the grizzly bears. I I don't love that we've already done these before in our previous zoo, but I just I feel like this this makes the most sense. I mean, we've cared for them before. We kind of know what to expect. So I I think that's gonna be our best bet. Dude, we're already down to twenty one thousand. We're, we're gonna be okay. All right, so let me take a look at our Zoopedia here. We're gonna take a look at the uh, the grizzly bear. Let's see what we're working with. So we need 750 square meters, negative 10 to 28 degrees Celsius with a grade four fence. And um, man, this is um, this is gonna be interesting. I'm thinking we put them in here. I, I think, you know, obviously we eventually we want a full zoo that's like, you know, all over the place, but I feel like we want to try to, for now, keep things towards the front so people don't have to walk as far. I feel like that's going to be better off. So yeah, I, I think we're going to build their habitat kind of in this area. It seems like they don't really need a whole lot. So when we take a look at, at buildings that have negative impacts on guests, we're going to need to add a, a keeper hut over here. And you guys can see that's about the circumference we have. Now we want to make sure that when we put it over here, it's not going to affect the people walking in the door. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking we need to have the keeper hut about right here, about where this tree is. So let's go ahead and move this. We aren't going to need this for now. So if we have that there, it's also going to have something like out to here. So we're really going to need probably to have a path here. I'm going to have it go about like this. All right, looks good. And then we can reduce the, the length here. Actually, let's make it, make it a length of two. We're going to have it curve around here and kind of line up nicely with the edge. And then we can have it just kind of follow along the uh, the edge here, I feel like would be kind of cool. All right, so that looks good. I don't know where we're gonna keep going with that, but it, it looks good for now. So then we can go back to paths and we're gonna swap on over to employee paths and we're gonna have an employee path that comes along just like this. Line it up nicely, could probably 
Probably make it a, a little bit better. There we go. I like that. So we've got an employee path, and then that's going to lead straight to... If we make a little, little zookeeper hut, we can put that at the end of this, just like so. And if we take a look, that is not going to be affecting anyone. Good stuff. Now we're going to work on building their little, uh, their little area. I shouldn't call it little because I, I kind of want to make this look pretty cool. Um, I actually, you know what? I want to have like a hill that the bears can like climb the hill and then like the people up here on the, the top part can go up and see them up on the hill and stuff like that. I'm honestly not great with the terrain tool, but I'm, I'm going to try here. We're going to try not to mess this up. It's, uh, it's harder than you would think, but we're going to try to build like a nice, a nice hilly area. So we're going to have this come pretty much up to the, uh, up to the, the walkway. Here we go. All right. This is looking pretty good. I'm trying to try to smooth this out a little bit though. Like this, this is much harder than it looks to get it exactly right. We could even make them a little cave. I mean, they, they like a place to go and hide obviously. So we could make them a little cave down in here that could be kind of cool. Look at this. I like it. It's uh, it's kind of coming together a little bit. I mean, this, like I said, it's not really, oh shoot. Don't want to do that way. It's not really easy, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it happen. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think they're going to like that? I'm not even sure that they're going to use it, to be honest. I'm trying to flatten this out a little bit. Give them a way to actually get up there. I feel like it, it turned out kind of cool. Let me see if we could put a fence up over it. I, I'm kind of, I have this vision in my head. I don't know. We'll see if it ends up working out, but I'm going to go with the chain link fence. Something like this kind of interesting. I think, uh, I think we definitely want to make it a bit, a bit taller. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I'm gonna go with four, four meters maybe. Do you guys feel like that's pretty good? That looks solid. I mean, people are gonna be able to come up here and see them if they're up top. You can kind of walk around down here if they're down low. I guess we should complete this and bring this on around. Bam, how about something like that? I, I mean, I feel like this is starting to come together a little bit. Like, I, I kind of like it. I'm hoping this counts as their hard shelter that they want. I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see if it works, but I feel like I mean this looks like something they would be in in real life You know what I mean? And then of course we're gonna put uh, put some water out here as well I think we're about ready. We can at least get them in here and see if we start becoming profitable I guess let's just go for it, dude We're gonna have our two our two new grizzly bears. We are gonna move these guys in here and we are gonna hope for the best what we need to do is we need to take a look at our research and we need to get them on research right away vet research on the grizzly bear right away so i'm gonna get uh i'm gonna get one on the ostrich and then as soon as we get the grizzly bears in here i'll get the other one on it let's make sure that our, our mechanic research is happening as well currently on level two of the food shops let's go ahead and speed this up a bit see see where we're at the grizzly bears are in baby that's what i'm talking about now hold on a second let me see. Okay, this is the male. I'm going to put the female on contraceptives. Let's see where they're at in their lifespan. I'm going to take a look. See, he's young and she is fairly young as well. We're going to keep them on contraceptives for now. Oh, yeah. And, and we need the, the air conditioning units. Okay, small cooler here. So we're going to set, uh, I guess, one over here and then probably one over here. And that should be pretty good. We actually could probably use one up here as well. So uh, that should cover that for uh, for the most part. And then for terrain, they don't want any long grass. They want pretty much all short grass. So let's grab our painting tool. We're gonna go for short grass, intensity and size up. Let's start getting that a little bit better. They want a little bit of soil. Actually, you know what? Let's do the soil underneath here. We're gonna add some soil out in front of their little home here. And then we also want a lot of rock instead of the... Uh, the tall grass. Let's give them a ton of rock in here. Starting to look a little bit better. So we have we have the soil on the inside and out front here, and then we have the rock as well. I'm actually, like I said, I think I'm gonna add a little pond out front here, eventually. But um, this 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 looks pretty good for now. They're they're a little more happy with that. They're having issues with the the plants and the temperature, which we will get to eventually. Uh, we also need to get them some food items out here. So let's take a look at habitat. Let's take a look at the uh, the grizzly bear habitat, and then we're gonna take a look at food and water. So we're gonna do a large food tray. We could put this right out here. Then we could put a, a little watering station right next to it. We also, I mean, we could put them up top. Unfortunately, I feel like they're never gonna go up top here, but they might want to. I, I don't know, I just wanted to give them the option if they needed it. 
uh, hard oh, it says they have hard shelters. So our little cave that we made for them actually counts there. That's nice. We've got to decorate it a bit, but uh, that's that's a good start. So let's take a look. I mean, um, they've got food, water, and cooling. I'm gonna go ahead and press play. We're just gonna kind of see what happens here. Let me see what we can do for plants. So they like things from taiga, temperate, and tundra. We might as well make their pond now and then we can put little bushes and stuff around it because mostly they just like the huge trees. I would rather do a bunch of little stuff that all adds up and looks nicely than just throwing a couple of, of trees in there. You know what I mean? So we're gonna take a look here. Let's go to our terrain and we are going to drop it like it's hot over here. And we're gonna build a nice, how do I want to do this actually? Let me let me think about this. We're gonna build like a nice L-shaped pool for them, I think. And we I feel like we want it to get fairly deep, but still usable. How's how's something how's something like like this gonna look? I I think I think we might have to move him, but like they can still get in and out of that. Let me see if we can. Is it gonna let us put water in it? It's not gonna let us put any more water in it though. I mean that's that's not bad. I'd like to fill it up a bit more, but we've gotta we've gotta move him. So we've gotta move. You can't you can't put water in there when they're like standing in the way. So we're gonna move him just like that, and then we'll go back to terrain and we should be able to, to fill it up. Alright, that's kinda cool. I like that. So let me see. Are they still okay with habitat? They just want plants and stuff. So you guys know I, I love my decorative rocks. I'm gonna start this off with uh, with some some little decorative rocks and stuff. I mean, obviously obviously bears love rocks. That's all their habitat. You know what I mean? Like they're all over the place, climbing over rocks into rivers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to make a, a nice, we have so many options here, man. I really don't even know what to do. Try to make an, a nice little rock exhibit for them. Some of the tools we have here are just insane. How you can you can move things on their axes, ac axes, is that how you say it? Stuff like that, like look at that. That's dope, dude. I can rest a rock on top of another rock. That's what I'm talking about. We've got some, some rocks going on here. Obviously you wanna add a few plants in here as well. I really, I hate how brown it is, but the thing is, is they like it. Like they, they don't, we could do a little more short grass. Yeah, we, we need to do some more short grass. I don't I don't like how brown this has turned out. I'm gonna paint some short grass up here and around the side. At least at least the top part of this is gonna have grass, you know what I mean? That's nearly too much. But I just oh shoot, I didn't even do that at the end. I just feel like it was it was getting way way too brown and ugly. But okay, we're we're stepping in the right direction. Now we need to add some plants. Dude, I'm trying to be creative. I'm I'm trying to make this look nice. It's there's just so many options, it kind of becomes overwhelming at times. Would love anything that can give us, uh, give us just a, a little bit of, of color in here, you know what I mean? So like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add these flowers here. Ooh, this is cool. I bet they would like, I bet they would like something like this, a little pine tree. We could even, like, hold on, we could, we could set one of these, maybe, I, I don't know where we would put it. We could kind of set it like this, and then like we saw before, you can angle it, so we could have this just kind of like, chill in here. This is a better one because it's the, the same type of tree here, so we could kind of have it, you know, laid on its side a little bit. Let's get it to the, the big parts on the bottom, just like that, and then we could bring this over here and we could kind of like lay it lay it next to it or something. I, I don't know, kind of, kind of interesting, like there was a tree there that had fallen. I feel like they would like kind of rub it up against that. Okay, so it took me some time, but I think uh, I think it turned out pretty well here. You guys can see we've got all kinds of, of bushes and stuff all over the place. Bearberry bushes, cowberry bushes, all kinds of stuff like that. So they're gonna be able to kind of forage through there, get a little bit of food if they want. We've got a couple of, of small trees, nothing crazy. We've got this, uh, this little swimming pond here with some rocks and some reeds and everything else. And uh, I feel like this, I feel like it turned out pretty well. You know, there's, there's unfortunately just not a lot of color to be had with all the brown and the, the grass. And I, I don't know, I, I wish we could add more grass. The short grass just doesn't give it that pop of green, so the brown of the rock and the soil still kind of shines through. I think uh, they definitely, they're gonna want some some bedding back here, right? Boom, just like that. So they've got, they've got a little cave back there they can go into. You guys can see we've got dead trees up here with some flowers and stuff. I don't know, I, I tried to make it as legit as we could. They look like they're pretty happy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play it. Let's make sure, I mean, enrichment's not good. 
But take a look at this, man. He's just big old beautiful bear running around doing his thing. Just chilling, playing on the rocks and stuff. Hopefully, oh look at that, shaking the water off and stuff. He's so cute. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Good boy. Going for a nice little swim, crawling back up on the, dude, the, the animal movements and stuff in this game, like they did a really good job. Look at those claws. Dude, he could take anything out that he wanted to. It seems uh, it seems like we're, we're doing okay here. So hold on, now that we built that, let's take a look at our zoo, let's take a look at our animals, make sure everything is on the up and up. Looks like everybody's happy, except we need nutrition and enrichment over on uh, on the hogs. Really, the biggest thing is, is we need to make sure that we're in the profits. We're down to 11K. We have that loan out that we're going to have to pay back. We obviously spent a lot of money on this habitat here. Are we going to be able to to pay it back? I don't know. That's that's going to be the big question here. Let me go check on these guys over here. Are you guys, are you thinking of, uh, are you thinking of maybe, you know... Hitting the boom boom room. Is there any way we can kind of encourage that? I mean, it, it'd be nice It'd be nice if you guys could do could do something for us. You know, we need some new excitement Looks like guest numbers are going up. We need a little bit more marketing I mean we can should we spend a little bit of money on marketing? I think we can go in here and spend some money on marketing. I'm gonna say let's do cereal boxes Don't say anything it looks like we actually might be approaching profits. No, nope, we're going back down into the negatives again. We're teetering the line here. Obviously, we're going to have to repay this loan. Shoot, yeah, we're... Dude, I, I really... I don't know what else we can do. We could increase prices. To be honest, I've done no no market research here, so I'm not, I'm not sure... I'm not sure what people are willing to pay, but I'm just gonna increase everyone by just a, a little bit. Fellas, I'm a little bit worried, I'm not gonna lie. Let's take a look at the zoo. I know we can see feedback from people in the zoo. So it looks small, everything at Information Center 2 is too expensive for me, I wish I could get to a food shop, it's scorching. I suppose the view of the grizzly bear from here is fine. Ticket price is great. Do we need to increase the ticket prices? I'm gonna increase the ticket prices. It's gonna be six dollars, five dollars per guest, three dollars per child. All right, we'll we'll try that. I don't, dude. I don't. I'm nervous. I feel like we've really poured poured our heart and our soul into this, and we just we aren't we aren't making money. So if we take a look at our finances, the loan repayment is the biggest one. Can we reduce? Shoot, we've got three years to pay off that loan. And we can't, we can't really reduce it. Oh man, I don't know if that was a mistake to take that loan. But apart from that, I mean, staff wages are crazy. Can we take a look at our staff? Is there anybody we can lay off currently? I mean, I don't, I don't think so. I think we're just gonna have to call it there, man. I mean, I, I feel like we're, we're doing a fairly good job. We just, we, we might have to, have to add another animal. I think a low a, a low cost animal, something like one of the tortoises or something, where they don't really eat a lot of food, they don't require a lot of space, but they bring a lot of value. I think something like that might be able to save our business. I don't know, dude. I guess uh, I guess we're gonna find out. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the uh, the new grizzly exhibit, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to save our zoo. Peace out.